In this clip, we'll learn how to use ChatGPT to program Excel. This is probably very exciting for you business folk who do most of your programming and business logic in Excel because it can be very difficult to program Excel. Me, I'm an expert programmer and I still find Excel confusing because of the lack of documentation and opaque error messages. So here's my Excel spreadsheet. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of numbers. Maybe these are expenses in column A. And I'd like to sum all the numbers in column A. I could look it up or use some kind of guide, but why don't we just ask ChatGPT? Let's go to ChatGPT. I'll make a new chat and we'll say, write an Excel formula that sums all the values in column A. And ChatGPT produces the code and what's more, it even provides a little bit of an explanation. It says what it'll do and it also says to make sure there are no headers or other non-numeric values in column A, which is helpful and correct. ChatGPT tends to make errors pretty frequently with text, but if for some reason it's really, really good at helping with code. It did classify this code as SAS though, which it is not, it is Excel code, it's S CSS is incorrect. But let's see if this code snippet does as expected. So we'll just paste this into the formula thing. And it works, boom, there's our sum of column A. Let's try to ask it something else. So we'll say, how about to multiply all the numbers in column A? Note how we don't have to say again, we're writing an Excel formula. It will infer from the context of our chat that we're talking about Excel. It says, use the product function. Once again, it gives us code. We just copy the code in and we'll try to put that as the formula for our cell. and it makes a really big number. So you can use ChatGPT to write fairly sophisticated Excel functions. Basically, the sky's the limit. As long as you can explain what you want, it will do its best to do it. So let's say, write code to sum all the numbers in column A that are less than 1 million. And it tells us to use some if, and it also says that we can adjust the condition less than 1 million if we want to modify this code on our own. And it's also helpful enough to note that it's an Excel formula, not code. And if we want some code like VBA to do it, it'll do it for us. We just have to ask. So let's copy this code in and see if it works. And cool. It has summarized, it has made a sum of all the numbers, excluding this one really big number at the end because it's greater than 1 million. So now let's look at a slightly different situation. Let's say that we're pretty good and we're authoring our own code, but we make some kind of mistake. Let's say our goal is to um, get the average of all the numbers in column A. So we'll say equals average A. And it's, that's weird. It doesn't say the correct answer. It just says name, which usually means that we've written the code wrong. What can we do? So this will copy the code and let's just try chat GPT. Let's see what it can do. We'll say this code doesn't work. What's wrong with it? And I guess we'll be a little bit more clear. We'll say this Excel formula doesn't work. What's wrong with it? The answer it gives is a little confused. It thinks that we're talking about this code that it gave up here, that it doesn't work. It actually did work. So we'll make a new chat. 
So we're not confusing the context and we'll just paste in what we said here. This Excel formula doesn't work. We'll copy that. In a new chat, we'll just paste that in and see what it says. So ChatGPT gives an excellent answer, not just for writing the right code, but also for helping us to become better Excel programmers and understanding what's going on. It says, the formula you provided equals average A is not a valid formula. The average function in Excel requires a range of cell as its arguments rather than a single cell reference. To calculate the average range of cells in column A, you need to specify the range in the average function. For example, if you want to find the average values from A1 to A10, you would use this formula. And so we're learning, oh, we need to have this colon followed by the cells. And we'll ask it a follow-up question. What if we want the average of all the cells, not just A1 through A10? And ChatGPT here produces the correct formula. We can paste that in where our wrong value was. And we get the correct value. One more for you, ChatGPT. How about the median? And knowledgeable ChatGPT informs us we need to use the median function. We'll try it. What seems to be a plausible median? Remember, ChatGPT isn't too good at math, but it can help you write formulas that are correct. As we can see, this is simple code, and we can verify that obviously it seems to be making the median of all the numbers in column A. By combining what ChatGPT writes with our own knowledge and ability to infer if something is clearly hallucinated or just very dubious in some way, we can create effective code. And that's how to use ChatGPT to help you work with Excel.